G'day, and welcome to today's MUM36 Rebuild episode, where our chief engineer and mechanic single-handedly removes our Yanmar diesel engine with a little bit of inspiration from a local landmark. <laughs> The engine weighs in the region of 120 kgs. It would be possible to manhandle it with two or three strong bodies, but space is limited in and around the engine. A solution had to be found, preferably one that allowed the work to be carried out by one person. After a bit of measurement, we came up with a design for a crane, based loosely on Harlan and Wolf's iconic Samson and Goliath. Reusing some pieces of 50 by 100 box section, some angle iron, a winch that once pulled racing cars onto a trailer, wheels from a printing press, and a couple of spare blocks. We only need to purchase some nuts, bolts, and washers to hold it all together. The crane breaks down into the two legs and the cross beam and the rails. After the engine compartment was removed and stored in the aft end of the boat. The batteries were removed, the crane was carried up and onto the boat and assembled over the engine. The sail drive was braced to the keel with purpose-made brace and strapped into place with a ratchet strap. A rope sling through the single lifting eye and around the exhaust outlet allowed the crane to be centralised over the engine. The engine mount to the hull bolts were removed along with the gearbox bell housing bolts. The weight of the engine supported on the crane and the engine slid aft off the gearbox and parked on wood blocks up against the fuel tank. With the engine removed, we could disassemble the gearbox, take a look at the sail drive, as well as looking at the starter motor and the flywheel which engages it. After reviewing these tired old parts, several additional jobs were added to our to-do list and we'll take a look at these in some upcoming episodes. <laughs>